everyone. It's great to be here today. I'm really lucky to get to work with Maine People's Alliance. Maine People's Alliance is a statewide organization. We have about 32,000 members across the state, and we are working with folks who are living this issue every day. So I come here thinking about our members who are working two jobs to try to make ends meet, who are dealing with healthcare and equity, who are thinking about uh, making minimum wage and trying to make a living wage. So our members are dealing with this every day. Our goal is to try to make sure that the democratic process works for everybody. Mm. So we think that folks who are most affected by public policy decisions should have a say in how they're made. Nice. So we're always trying to give people a way to get active and have conversations like the one we're having today. Next. In a lot of ways, wealth inequality is not a new phenomenon for most of our folks, right? That the idea of the recession and the collapse calling a lot of people's attention to this, you know, that affected a very particular set of folks in the country. For a lot of folks who've been working low-wage jobs for a long time, being poor, being in recession is nothing new. So folks have been living this for a long time across the state, and now we're seeing that it continues to affect this idea of a growing gap at the very top. But the idea of working really hard for next to nothing is not new for a lot of people.